Hi, I'm Dana Robison, and welcome to the 2020 Gen Cant Plumpy Thimble coverage. Stay tuned. Uh, we've got a lot coming up. We're going to squeeze the entire convention experience into a short amount of time, ending with a keynote speaker, Mandy Hutchinson, also a host of the Dice Tower. I, I cannot wait. Uh, but to start things off, what would a convention be without exhibitor booths, without, without publishers showing off what they've got? And we have with us here today, Steve Finn. Steve Finn here from Dr. Finn's Games. I have to say, it, it is so great to have the Filler King with us today. Well, I love being the king. I'm not always so happy about uh, being the king of filler games. Now, you've made tremendously fun games in the 20 to 40 minute time range. Although I do make quick games, almost always under half an hour, that make you think and try to um, pack in a lot of punch in a short amount of time. Sometimes the filler title has made it seem like my games are fluffier than they are. Now, Steve, Nanga Parbet, which is coming out later this year, features red pandas, snow leopards, goats. One could argue that it's a very fluffy game indeed. Well, I love being the king. Great. Well, I know I'm a huge fan of your work, and I'm sure many others are. We're looking forward to your Kickstarter that's coming out later this year with, yeah, I believe, your entire line of games. So thank you so much for dropping in. Have a good one. Coming up next, we have Matt from Brazier Games, who uh, is showing off their Silver line of games. And in 2018, they brought Silver to the market. Uh, in a bold move, they next brought Silver uh, to the market. And this year, uh, in what someone consider an industry groundbreaking move, they are bringing Silver to the market. So, we have Silver Coin, Silver Bullet, and Silver Amulet. Now, Silver Amulet is the original one that came out, uh, and it gets you a great feel for the mechanics of the game and how everything works. Silver Bullet's gonna be a little more aggressive when you play with people. Um, and then you have Silver Coin, which has really cool flipping and chaining mechanics. So each of them are very, very unique and all a lot of fun to mix and match. Oh. Yeah, they're different. If you want, I do need to take a, a brief break and thank one of our sponsors. Uh, cer certainly not a monetary sponsor, but I, Easy Bowser on Twitter um, is definitely an emotional sponsor. Uh, and he's brought this message to you. Are you a tabletop gamer? Are you always telling yourself you'll play more games one day? Are you old as balls and rich as hell? Introducing Meeple Meadows, the first retirement community for board gamers. Meeple Meadows. Meeple Meadows will feature a game library of over a thousand games, professional game concierges trained in dozens of rule sets and also CPR, fully equipped board game video review studios, Monthly excursions to game store events and local conventions. Well, eventually. But best of all, Meeple Meadows will provide you with a vibrant community of board game geezers eager to spend their golden years at your table. When you are old but you're not quite dead, oh, will you be playing Coloretto? That game and more with all your fellows at Meeple Meadows. paradise. That's what it's all about. Now, anything Gen Con can do, Gen Can can do better. And what I mean by that specifically is the entertainment venues. Well, certainly we can't pack out crowds of people into, um, into auditoriums to hear music. We do have top of the line entertainment, uh, starting with Board Game's own sweetheart, Christian Kang, who's agreed to give us the rock anthem that we need this year in 2020. Uh, and so here he is presenting his own original music um, for all of you debuting here at the Plumpy Thimble coverage of Gen Cant.
Christian, we're, we're gonna, th thank you so much. We're, we're gonna have to cut you short. Um, we're gonna have to cut you short. Mandy Hutchinson's coming up and we wanna make sure that we've, we've got it, plenty of time uh, for her as she uh, presents the keynote address. It was probably, um, probably as, as good a time as any to jump over to some of the panels. We have uh, Ada from Peace, Love and Games who's going to be uh, showing you how to take your board game photography to the next level. And I've allowed her to borrow one of my favorite games, Seven Wonders. Really excited to see what type of products she can produce uh, with her certainly unique set of skills. Hi, this is Ada with Peace, Love and Games here to show you how to be a board game photographer. First, we want to set up our game in a well-lit area. This looks good, but we're not going for good. We're going for great. So let's add a little bit of texture. Nothing gets those likes on Instagram like a delicious donut and a nice warm coffee. See, doesn't that look great? But I think we could push it just a little bit more and add something to really, really grab attention. Cute chicks. And there you go, simple steps to up your tabletop photography game and guarantee your photos will stand out from the rest. Again, this is Ada. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your cant. Oh, that is typical. Uh, moving on, our next panel is from uh, Jillian Schmidt, who I am, I'm really excited to see. She's, um, oh, it's starting now, we're gonna jump right in. She's talking about one of my absolute favorite games, Agricola. Oh yeah, I want to spend 14 rounds struggling to feed my people just to lose at the end because I didn't give them carrots to go with their boar. If I wanted to hear people complain about what I'm going to give them for dinner, I'd spend more time hanging out with my kids. We will, um, we will uh, be sure to tighten in the reins on, on quality control in future years as, in terms of who we allow to um, do panels, so I do um, apologize for that. I want to continue with uh, some of the entertainment portion, and we got that um, beautiful musical rendition from Christian Kang. Uh, but now the Department of Natural Resources for the state of Michigan has submitted a documentary film based on the hit board game Wingspan. Uh, and I'm really eager to see kind of what we get. Now we will have to rush through it again because we've got Mandy Hutchinson coming up as our keynote speaker and, and I am really excited about that. But um, thank you so much for caring, to Karen Cleveland for, uh, for giving us this, this premiere of this documentary film. It's summer 2020. You've been stuck at home for months and your family's bored. What can you do? Birding! Enjoy watching Mother Nature run amok. Birding's got everything and playing wingspan can get you started. Birding has ruby-throated hummingbirds. Birding has eastern chipmunks. Birding has common grackles. If you're lucky, you may end up with a surprise fecal sack. Birding has northern cardinals. Birding has black cap chickadees. <laughs> Hang on, there aren't black cap chickadees in Wingspan, but they go around singing, Cheeseburger! Cheeseburger! But wait, there's more. Birding has downy woodpeckers. Foom! Look at that hummingbird go! What will birding have for you? Head to your nearest window and find out. Wingspan is a game for one to five players from Stonemeyer Games. The Michigan Department of Natural Resources is not affiliated with Stonemeyer Games and receive no compensation for this production. Uh, nature is nature is a beautiful mystery. Uh, so thank you to the Michigan Department of Natural Resources for that. Uh, next up in our final panel, we have JT from G Club Channel who um, has taken to heart the situation that we're in in this pandemic. Uh, and he's found a solution, he says, to finding the perfect relaxing game to play with your family during this time. Uh, so let's hop right into that and see what JT has to say. We at the G Club Laboratories have been working throughout the lockdown to find out what are the best relaxing games to play with your kids. Let's go to the laboratory and check in on our subjects. First, we thought Magic Maze would be a great game because the players have to be silent. However, that do something pawn, well, it can be used as a deadly weapon. Next, we thought Slide Quest would be a great cooperative game to bring you together with your kids. For the first mission. Yes. yes. But after that, it really just kind of turns into a gripe fest. You're supposed to I told you to go left. No, you go supposed right. to go left. Right. You're supposed to roll a seven. I thought you were the magician. As we wrap up for the evening, you might be tempted to think that we didn't come up with the perfect game. At the G Club Laboratories, we found the perfect game to end with every night with a lab favorite called 
Does this mask smell like chloroform? Science! Oh, Jason. Look, before we get to our keynote speaker, the one and only Mandy Hutchinson, um, what convention would this be if we didn't pick the game of the year? And so I've delegated that responsibility and that announcement to Tabletop Island, uh, who has for you now the 2020 Gen Cant Game of the Year. Today we're taking a look at a classic by Milton and Bradley in 1981. Did I say 81? I'm in 91. That's dream folk. This game absolutely amazing and i'll tell you what you get this really big phone here you want this phone i'm telling you you ever want to find out who has a crush on you you're tired of your friends giving you a call and saying i know who has a crush on you but i'm not selling well you don't gotta worry about it here all you gotta do dial the boys numbers and get clues you get clues to find out who has a crush on you now i know what you're thinking bernardo this game's for girls not for guys why are you showing me this i'm telling you guys you gotta get on the phone right now it's not just just for girls you can give it a call to boys don't be weird this is not don't be weird so you take the phone and you dial the number i'm telling you it's gonna be like you're solving a mystery it'll blow your mind 1991 guys this is the game of the year i'm telling you right now the game of the year all you gotta do call up the boys find the clues oh he doesn't like to wear hats guess who what you're taking your little pencil and you're crossing out the names i'm telling you this is the game for you dream phone by Milton and Bradley, 1991. And I'll tell you what, if you call now, I'm telling you right now, this is a short deal. If you call right now, we'll even throw in a better one. We'll throw in an old classic from 1989, Mall Madness. You wanna go around in a mall? You wanna go shopping? You wanna get the best deals? Mall Madness, we're throwing it in with this one cause it goes really well. You call up the boys, you go to the mall. Makes perfect sense, call now. That is 1-800-TABLETOP-ISLAND. That is 1-800-TABLETOP-ISLAND. I'm telling you, you call now in the next five minutes, you don't want to miss on this deal. 1-800-TABLETOP-ISLAND. Best game of the year, 1991, Dream Phone. I, I apologize profusely. Um, there was obviously some sort of miscommunication and... Um, Unfortunately, that's what we've got. So the 2020 game of the year for Gen Cant is, is Dream Phone or whatever the heck that was. But none of that matters because we have now the keynote speaker for Gen Cant 2020, the Dice Tower co-host, Mandy Hutchinson. Uh, so Mandy, thank you so much for coming on. Um, we would love to hear what you have, uh, any words of inspiration, anything you've got. So thank you again so much for being our keynote speaker and uh, take it away. Hi, Mandy, can you hear me? Hello, nice to be here, Hi. but so, I can't see you and I can kind of hear yeah. you. Hello. No, I, I can hear you. Can Hello? you hear me? No, uh, wait, uh, no. No, hang on, let no, me check. No, I still can't hear you. I can't see you either. Is your yeah, camera no, on? Or maybe me, forgot to turn it on. I, Hello? Give me just a second. No, no sound. Maybe try toggling on and off. N yeah, I still, I no, still I, yeah, can't I, hear I can you. I can hear you loud and clear. No, uh, it no. must be something on Hello? my Let me just... Hello? No, I, mm, the camera's not on. I can't hear you. Yeah, can we no, try we this can, again? I mean, Hello? Give me, if you give me oh, just wait, two seconds, uh, I can... No. Well, no, can, still don't it, have there, you. Can you hear me now? The camera's not on. I can't hear you. I'm busy. I no, have things please. to do. I, Let's just pick this up another time. I gotta go. Oh. That, um, words to live by right there. Uh, thank you again, Mandy, so much for coming on. Uh, and thank you so much for sticking around. That concludes the Gen Cant coverage 2020 um, presented by Plumpy Thimble, as well as everyone else that so graciously contributed their time, efforts, and energy into this video. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out all the contributors. I'll post links in the, in the description of the video. Um, none of this would be possible without them or you. So thank you so much and have a fantastic Gen Cant. Uh, thank you also to CBS and the Survivor Entertainment Group for putting on really the best board game show there's ever been, the best social deduction show there's ever been. Um, and please, if you're watching this, please cast me in your next season. Thank you so much and have a great Gen Cant.